Hello, space engineers. Welcome back to another episode of Far From Home. We have just gotten moving after our last very unfortunate encounter with a Reaver. Kind of uh, appropriate since I was sort of, you know, mocking the small grid Reavers. You know, oh, they're no big deal, la la la. Well, we got all kinds of holes in the donut like that over there where the weld pod used to be. This episode, we are going to work on getting the donut repaired. We are going to get the uh, mercenary wreck ground down before it gets obliterated by all the uh, attacks we've been receiving. And we're still getting attacked by drones. Oh, great. Okay, well. Wow. <laughs> well, I guess we should get the uh, ammo out of this. Let's have the donut wait for us. So, uh, we need to get um, parts for a uh, small grid connector. Yes, you. Small grid. Yep, let's add that to the build planner. And then we need a small grid Gatling gun. Great, let's get that out of here. So let's go back and get this ammo. That is awesome. All right, let's just uh, get what we can get and get out of here. All the heavy armor is great. I need all the nickel I can get. Okay, let's get back to the donut and get out of here. You have to check this out. Does that seem like a hole to anybody else? Oh my gosh. I think this is a railgun round. Just like... I mean, I thought maybe I was overdoing it with the armor here. Um, apparently, I am not. Because that is... Ridiculous. Yeah, so, okay, so we're getting on the road. Now what's gonna happen? Am I gonna die? No, okay, good. I have so much stuff to fix before the donut just falls a freaking part. This guy needs to be fixed, doesn't he? Yeah, he needs to be fixed. Okay, so we're going to try and fix this guy. Be nice if it had more reverse thrust. It's only got two. Hard to find good places to squeeze reverse thrust in here. I mean, I could just put them right next to the cockpit. But, but that'd be noisy. I mean, maybe that is a really good place where I'm like right there. Oh, that's nice. This jiggling crap is what happens when you change the grid mass, I guess. It's just jiggling. Which is why I had it parked up earlier. Okay. Not sure what I think of this checkerboard pattern. It's pretty chaotic. You guys will have to tell me what you think. Two Gatling guns? Really? Oh, I didn't know that. Okay. Wow. We are about to uh, get even more ammo. Yay! This is all the scrap from that drone I just ground it all up and uh, we're sucking it up with the magnet. I didn't feel like trying to capture it or anything. Not that one. That one. Oh, let's uh, stop so we can turn the magnet off. 
a Reaver Invader has shown up uh, conveniently just as we hopped in the command seat. I still need to change the decoy a little. I bet that's going to go the wrong way. So the reefer is going after the decoy, which is good, but the decoy is on the other side of me. It's, it's coming through me to get to that thing. Okay, so that's not helpful yeah it's trying to get to that thing through me so Let's see if we can get out of the way we were gonna stop and suck in the salvage but uh <laughs> Kinda need to get that guy to go away first. There we are, running out of power. This guy's out, out. Well, yeah, out, 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 out. Okay, he's got some. He's the only one on. Okay. Nice that that uh, Reaver Invader is chasing the decoy. Just want to make sure he is gone before we uh, before we stop. That's pretty good. Okay, we're gonna pull in the magnet. Well, while we're here, let's get the tug uh, welding finished, and then let's uh, grind this down and move that guy over. Drain his battery. Thing is uh, welded up. We are going to drain the power out of that battery right there, or right there. And uh, so the first thing we need to do, the first thing we need to do is grab a hold of it with the Speedman here. And it would probably be better if we didn't have so much thrust. It should be easy to grab onto that um, last door block. Okay, cool. Unlock you, hope nothing horrible happens. Oh, we're not going to do that yet. Because we got to grind you down. Yeah, you're basically out of power. Oh, great. A Reaver Impaler. So maybe we can make this one go away. It's coming here, isn't it? It doesn't matter. We're gonna go fight it because we got the donut. We got the uh, dealio out. We've got the. Uh... Is it not coming at us? What the heck did it?
Is it really going after that? Does that mean it actually redirected? Huh. Yeah, I was going to just... Uh... Oh, I guess the tug was hooked up, so I guess we could have done that. Yeah. Just got really freaking lucky. Okay, well... I guess they do redirect. Unlock you. Okay. This is great. That depth perception in this game isn't hard or anything, is it? I mean, you know, it's always really easy and straightforward. Okay, lock you on. Locked. We are going to drain you. So you're going on discharge. Gentle, gentle. Is the magnet still on? What are we doing with the magnet? Why? It's not on. Okay, so I was just standing there like a fool. Okay. Well. It's time to do some repairs. So we need a lot of steel plate. And uh, we're going to go in here. Inventory full. And we're going to... Um, we're going to fix all this. Wow. Yeah, so... That's what a railgun does, apparently. so much stuff in my inventory from all the scrap metal. Oh, okay. Yeah. Wow, this all got messed up. Okay, well. Everything got messed up. Wow. <laughs> okay, so um, that's what the railgun does. Let's get all these blocks replaced. Fix this hole. like what five blocks that got destroyed I think we got hit with like uh, auto cannons or something and uh, missiles I think this is what auto cannons and missiles do I've been uh, really really pleased with how well the uh, these shields have worked to protect the rest of the ship from damage I mean they're just light armor so they're kind of free in this game since I have like seven or eight hundred thousand ingots Oh, that's how the medical room got hurt. Got really lucky. Didn't get blown up more. The round must have gone straight through that door and into the medical room. <laughs> this stuff's not essential, but I thought while I'm at it, I might as well fix where I sleep. I don't actually mind welding all this up by hand. Uh, when I'm in this view because it gives me a pretty good uh, 
look at everything, it's really very unexciting to just be face first in a steel plate all day long. It's nuts to me that these panels got so deformed, but I really, you know, I only lost like, what, two blocks on the outside or something at the most? Really? <laughs> <laughs> it's one of the neat parts of Space Engineers that it, uh, that it behaves that way. I guess those were um, auto cannon rounds and not uh, assault cannon rounds, which is probably very, very, very lucky for me. Luck, I mean, you know, it's whatever you end up fighting, but. I'm lucky what it hit me with <laughs> was uh, auto cannon rounds and not assault cannon rounds. Man, all this welding really chews up your energy. I did not realize how bad some of these deformations were until I came over here to repair it. I mean, <laughs> whoa, look at that. It looks like a whole block is destroyed. Shoot up down here. Man, this thing is messed up. So much repairing to do. Yeah. Oh my gosh. I didn't realize how critical critical was. Okay, well. Yeah, I still got plenty going on here, so. Silly that this is still here and hasn't been blown off yet. Oh man, yeah, this is all messed up in here. I think this section got hit with an assault cannon or a couple of missiles or a couple of assault cannons. <laughs> the magnet has done really good through all this, which is awesome. We're at the point here where if we don't replace blocks that have been blown up, we're going to start losing critical things, like losing all of our our uh, buffers. So I have played a bit, but I do not have a recording of that because my computer has a tendency these days to simply um, shut down. And it may be because it got pretty hot when I hadn't cleaned it for a while. And now whenever it gets kind of warm, it seems like it does that. That's my guess. So that's unpleasant. It's delayed the upload of episode 20, which was almost uploaded when the computer shut down. And YouTube is not good at recovering when that happens. Oh cool, I got grinders still. Yeah, you know, trying to move and do any of this stuff has not gone well. I have broken grinders several times and I almost slammed the tug into the donut on on several occasions and damaged the grinding pod you know it's a lot easier to do it 
Titans first person and not break things. We are almost ready to uh, get that giant hunk of wreck attached and start uh, start the salvage process. We really need to just get that thing all sucked up and out of the way. Okay, so we're gonna dock this up. All right, here's the deal. We need to get this big green ship hooked up to the front of the donut here so that we can start draining whatever power we can get out of it. We're gonna do that with a tug. So we're gonna put a connector on it and then we're gonna get the speedman and we're gonna move the whole thing and connect it to the front connector on the donut. Ooh, you're flat. I can grind you down. I guess we'll do this first because I'm not a pile of distractions. Okay, so let's take this off of here. I'm just gonna clean this up. This thing has been such a pain because it messes with the camera view. Okay, so we wanna put a small connector on that and hook it up for discharging with the tug. Cool, we got out of there. Funny how that's a challenge. And we're refueled, which is super nice. Very gentle. You are not supposed to be permanent. Away with you. Uh, neither are you. I should be using that stuff down there for this. We need to get this connector locked. We need to get this battery set to discharge. All right, only uh, one more of these to drain. This is uh, heavy now. The one large thruster uh, really struggles to move the tug around. All that heavy armor on it. Oh, there's a battery right there. Huh. Once we repair this, we should be able to siphon whatever uh, energy might still be in it. Batteries don't seem to lose their charge when they're uh, beat up. At least I haven't really seen them do that. Oh, nice. Yeah, this is worth doing. Okay. Awesome. So, I am sort of uh, not always the best, I guess, when it comes to hitting record. And I did not record getting to this point here, which was basically just turning off the landing gear, uh, you know, turn the switch lock off, turning it off, and then um, putting a uh, connector on this thing and moving it up to where we are now, which is almost connected. Of course, perspective's always a little weird, right? Wow. Okay. Do I have the darn gravity collector on right now? I mean, holy moly. No. I just have the smart suit or whatever and it just attaches to the... Okay. Uh, switch lock. Where are we? There we are. Okay, 
So that is awesome. Let's get the tug and park it. This is, uh, this is progress. I am excited about this. I've been try trying for a while to get to the point where, um, wow, the gyro is nuts. I've been trying for a while to get to the point where we're salvaging this green ship. I mean, it's been a, like a whole escapade, 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 just to, just to deal with this one piece of salvage. And part of that is really my fault, or most of it is my fault, for um, being distracted by other pieces of salvage. And a lot of that just ended up getting blown to bits. So, you know, one of the lessons that I'm learning about this scenario is only deal with one piece of salvage at a time. Already recharged everything. Man, that is just great. I'm, I'm really, really loving the uh, event controller solution to the um, docking, undocking. It's, it's been great. And really what I've done uh, so far is that I have a um, that was um, really funky like the uh, opposing connectors kind of got in a little battle there with my uh, dampeners <laughs> so weird okay so I've got an event controller yeah this guy and his actions are to uh, shut down on the one side because I've got a timer block for that and then start up on the other side and then uh, we've got turning the thrust um, on when we detach and that's it, that's been working great. Um, I have a separate event controller set up for the grind pod here, which is right there. And its job is to lock that and turn that off and unlock it when um, we connect this. So that's all been working pretty good. And we're basically ready to we're ready to roll right now. Ready to go. So really we have one, two, three, four, five, six bat five batteries. We really only have five batteries left. So that's not the best. Oh, and you're still here. I thought maybe you got blown up. So we're gonna get moving and uh, I'm gonna start looking for batteries. Let's get going. That's good enough. Okay, let's check out this battery up here and make sure it is on this charge. Oh, it's not. Mood. Discharge. I'm going to start salvaging this, maybe. Um, I don't know. I mean, there are some things that I just need to start grinding, I think. Um, and I don't know where all batteries are. They could be like all kinds of stuff. So I kind of feel like I need to find the batteries first. I mean, maybe there aren't any more and that's the only one. I'm not saying that's not the case. Well, 
Wow. It is a really big ship. What's in here? Nothing. It is a really big ship. I wonder if I could just see if it has any batteries on it by looking at a control panel. Um, it has one battery, which is on discharge. Maybe that's its only battery. Yeah, I guess that's our only battery left. It originally had some more, but I guess they got blown off. So we got two options. <sighs> we can sort of slow down a little bit and um, use the tug to grind things. Or we can uh, grind it all by hand and let it just fly back to the gravity collector. It is way safer way safer to grind it by hand. Let me clarify that. It's safer to grind it by hand if we're moving. But I think... I think we're just going to slow down so it's not so dangerous if we mess up. And we're going to give it a try. Yeah, I feel a little safer with this very slow speed. All right, well, that should allow us to not have to deal with that. The goal is to grind up this giant ship Let's see if we can do that with the Speedman here. Hopefully, I will not break anything. So, I need to lock the grind pod connector. Unlock the main connector. That was scary. Glad I wasn't moving 30 meters a second. do this. Oh. That's kind of entertaining. Lots and lots of heavy armor of every favorite kind. to grind. I think I broke that loose from the main ship, which is not ideal. That was scary. So it's really dangerous, and I mean really dangerous, to do this on the move. It is easy to just mutilate the crap out of yourself. If you turn your dampeners on or off at the wrong time, you could just slam into the ship at like 30 meters a second. Reavers? That's the other dangerous thing. It's like, if a Reaver shows up, like, what do I do? I gotta go dock this real quick? I mean, I guess I can just, uh, attach it to the wreck with the, um, mag plate, I guess. That might be an acceptable, uh, 
acceptable way to deal with that. I feel like I'm drifting closer to the, to the wreck. There's actually quite a bit of stuff in here that's not messed up, um, which is nice. It's all in the middle of the ship, but you know, I guess that's to be expected. See if we can uh, get the tug filled up before we run out of fuel. We haven't really used the grind pod yet, and so this is kind of fun for me. I mean, I've been using it, but I've been breaking it, so. Never actually filled it. really keep the refinery running for a long time. Glad there's so many uh, conveyors and stuff I can get the nickel from the uh, motors. Ooh, I'm starting to get close to running out of fuel. Gotta be careful here. Inertial dampeners are what's killing the fuel. Oh, there's a dead engineer in there. Nice. Okay, we gotta get this docked with our remaining fuel. Pretty heavy with uh, 215,000 kilograms total, but um, quite a bit of that is the tug now because of the heavy armor. And we didn't manage to fill the cargo, the two large cargoes on here, and the medium cargo, but we got, what, 80% of it, it looks like, 90%. Looks like I need to remember to build myself a new decoy, so I'll be ready to go when the time comes. See, everything's good except for that. Yeah, we are refueling. A pirate raider, interesting. I would love to go and mess with some of this stuff, but you know what we're gonna do? Before we do any of that, We are going to finish grinding all this up. That's funny, kitchen's just there. Thought I saw a dead engineer in here. Yeah, there's one. <laughs> Can't do anything with it, but. Wow. Oh, a Space Pirate Raider drone. Interesting. Never had one of these before. Oh, well, I guess I should be more careful. What did it just, did it just, it just ran into the ship. Mostly destroyed. Time to grind it up. A Raider drone, never had one of those before. I have been uh, playing a lot and not recording again. So um, what has happened 
is that I captured a uh, Space Pirate Raider drone. So we're going to have a couple more small grid batteries that we're going to be able to drain, which is nice. Something to keep us going before we get to another big wreck. We still have tons of hydrogen, you know, it'd be real easy to have hydrogen power and there is some uranium. I kind of want to save the uranium for railgun rounds because I'd really like to shoot railguns into the Reavers. I'd really just love to do that. So hopefully that will be in the future and that's what I'll need the uranium for. Um, I would like to continue just using uh, salvaged uh, hydrogen and primarily just plain batteries. I mean, really. This thing had a couple more batteries on it before they got blown off. Oh, there is a Raider drone coming to get us again. So you guys may get to see a repeat of what just happened, uh, I don't know, five, six minutes ago, four minutes ago, I'm not sure. this guy to uh, come over here get all attacked by the donut hey stop shooting the tug okay awesome so Capture that. Okay, got it. Let's take her back. Gotta get this girl hooked up. Any Reavers, which is kind of interesting. Lots of these uh, Space Pirate Raider drones from that uh, Space Pirate Raider. I'd love to go figure out what it is. But we're not doing that because we need to process this wreck. Only one thing at a time. That's what we're going to do. Okay. Awesome. We are starting to get full. That's kind of cool. I would love it if we could actually like just fill this thing to the gills. Okay, it has sent another little buddy over here. To come and harass us. So we're going to have to go over there and defend ourselves again. And um, I think we are going to be a little more proactive this time. One of the reasons I haven't gone anywhere to get away from this stuff is that it's like everywhere I go, something shows up and starts doing that to me. Yeah, 230,000 kilograms. This thing is a beast. As far as this is, I am excited to build a grinding pit because the next thing I capture, I would like to stick in a grinding pit. That is going to be a lot of work. Well, the grinders still have plenty of room in them. Okay. So let's keep salvaging. I thought for sure I would fill this thing up before I get attacked again, but that just may not be the case. Oh, we got a Reaver Thrasher. Okay, we got to deal with that. By using a decoy. Because we don't want to fight it. It would be very bad. A 
see if we can get him to go somewhere near the, uh, I guess not, somewhere near the pirate raider. All right, let's see if we can finish this. Oh, I guess that's it. Wow, that is finished. These are the settings for the grind pods uh, event controller, the one that locks the connector, the one that's triggered when we lock the connector. First thing it does is lock or unlock the merge block, turn them on and turn them off. And then it uh, makes sure that the battery is on recharge and the bottom connector is unlocked. And we're going to need to add to that that the connector on the bottom is locked when we disconnect. So if I unlock this guy, what will happen? Should switch lock. Oh, it did. <laughs> oh, that is great. Okay, cool. All right, we have quite a bit of scrap in here. Lots of, um, lots of steel plate and lots of metal grids, which is awesome. The refinery has been chewing away and uh, look at all that nickel. 7K of nickel, this is great. We're, we are really gonna be able to start building some stuff. We got some ammo, we got some of that ammo. That's not really a thing for us, but I am very excited. Inventory full. Oh, I ground down the rocket launcher. Darn it. Inventory full. Ugh. Well, I kind of actually need to repair that thing if I'm going to ca I'm not going to capture it. Oh, the ammo did come out. That's so weird. Oh, wow. I don't know when that happened. Oh. I just can't believe this stuff's still here. going on here we have gotten messed up huh okay well let's get the heck out of here before anything horrible happens all right we are back on the road again Thank you for joining me for another episode of Far From Home. Next time we're going to finish grinding up that uh, mercenary rack. And hopefully we're going to make some major improvements to the donut now that we have all these materials. I hope this episode found you well. And if you like the content, please give me a like and a subscribe. I hope you can join me again next episode.